talk to y'all about, you know, a future. You know I love you. Yeah. But you know the reason I moved from Kansas City was so that when you're released, you would have a good start. Right. You wouldn't be around any of, you know, the people you knew or circumstances or situations. So how can I be comfortable in Houston knowing that you're going to be OK? Last time when we lived in Kansas City, Quaylen was in all kinds of trouble. I was in and out of court. And he ended up in prison for 12 years. I don't want to see him reconnect with old friends, old habits, old troubles, and go back down the same path. I ain't 16 no more, mama. I know you're you not know, 16, uh, but you know the threat is still there. The, and that's the what threat, worries the, me. The threat's everywhere, you know, but at the same time, we can't live our life in fear. Um, I need you to trust in me that I'm going to do the right thing. You know, I need you to trust in me that I learned from the mistakes that was made in the past. I just got through doing all this time. You got to know I ain't about to get out there wilding like I was. So it ain't that no more. I see so much potential in him, though, so uh -oh. I think that he's going to be OK. I just want to be at peace when I go back home. And I, I, I really would prefer for you live close to me. No. Uh, not at all. Mm -mm. I, mean, uh, I just don't want to go somewhere and she ain't comfortable there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To be honest, like I told my mama I was going to come out there with her. I told my girl that I'm going to be out here in Kansas City. I ain't going to Texas. It's overwhelming because I'm out here now and it's like, OK, what I'm going to do? What's the plan? I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure that I don't lose you again. When it comes to Quaylen, I know what I want. And when I like it and I want it, I get it. 